I know someone who'll do a cracking job. You? Hmm. My lad. Isn't your lad that Tyler? You're choking, aren't you? Talk about giving a dog a bad name. How's the lad meant to get anywhere when employers like you won't even give him a chance? Okay. Get him to send me his CV, I'll have a look at it. He's made mistakes. But he's just a kid. He deserves a chance. Can't promise anything. Thank you. You all right? I'm fine, I've just got bad morning sickness. Have you tried sucking a lemon? Really? Work for me. My mom made me drink this tea. Oh, what was it? It was like a witch's potion with nettles and... Oh, dock leaves. Did you take the trick? Yeah, sounds disgusting. <laughs> Here, I'll dig out the recipe and bring it round. No, I'm fine, really. I'm going to be late to school. No, I'll come over later. What? No, I'm fine. You said there was a... Well, I'll phone the hospital and I'll book the scan. Thanks. Listen, if there's anything you're worried about, just talk to us. No. No, I don't want Vicky in here. Well, I've let her in now. Steve, what does she want? Yeah, I bumped into her on the way to school this morning. She said that she's got some recipe for something that helps with morning sickness. I tried to escape. Hey, you hear me? You feeling any better? <sighs> what are you doing here, Vicky? I told you to stay away. Nausea remedies. I swore by them in pregnancy. Dock leaf tea recipes. Ooh, can't wait to tuck in. You OK, Amy, sweetheart? I'm fine. Considering what your son's done to her. Leave. You sure, Amy? What is with this Mother Teresa act? It doesn't suit you. I wanted to apologise to. Huh. Well, go on, then. On behalf of Taylor. Oh, right, well, I'm waiting. He feels proper mortal about how he reacted. About Amy being pregnant, like... And I hope we can all move past this and do what's right for this wee baby. What, you want to be involved? Yeah, I do. Amy, do you know out about this? About what? About Tyler having to change her heart. I'm as surprised as you are. I don't... Listen, love, neither you or that scally little son of yours are coming anywhere near this baby. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it is, actually. Well, I don't think that's your decision, is it, actually? Well, then whose decision is it? Are you thick as a brick? Are you looking for the exit? Because it's that door you came through. It should be up to Tyler and Amy, no one else. Well, I wouldn't worry. Mum and Dad have got a plan. Oh, do they now? Yeah. Yeah, we do, actually. The plan is to make sure our daughter is safe, reassured and loved at all times. Amy, love. Oh, please. I know this is all very scary, but Tyler is serious about supporting you. Why is he not here, then? Tell her himself. Why has he sent his, um, special envoy? Uh, do you want to know why? I'll tell you. Oh, oh, the drama. He's working. Trying to save money to get out a proper nursery for his baby. Put food on the table, shoes on its feet. Right, that's it, Steve. Where's my phone? I'm going to phone the police because uh, they need to know that your son slept with an underage girl. Mum, down. Well, it's nice to see someone jump to his defence. Well, I wouldn't say that was a jump. <laughs> I'll come back. Well, he's had a bit more time to think. I mean, we only want to help. It takes a village to raise a baby, right? Ah, oh, yeah. Well, feel free, won't you, to move to the country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, country.